Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have y'all here today because we are going to continue the Back from the Graveyard series and I got my new palette that I want to try out with y'all. So this one is from an influencer brand and I had some feelings about it so I really wanted this palette when it came out and the few times I tried it I had such awful creasing with it. Just the shimmers would not stay properly on my lids, which is which is which is a shame. Which was a shame because I really loved this palette and I loved the creators who are behind this palette. And I was just so sad that it wasn't working the way I wanted it to, because the shimmers are also very pretty. The mattes are, you know, mattes, they're whatever, but the shimmer shades were so freaking pretty. So that would be the Full Fantasy Lunar Beauty X Laura Lee collaboration. So that's what it looks like. This is what the palette looks like. And like I said, the shimmers are beautiful. They're that Lunar Beauty formula that I really enjoy. And I, I wish it hadn't creased on me so much, but it's made me not want to reach for the palette because of the creasing. So I'm gonna go into this today and see if we have the same issues as we have been having, or if something has changed and give this palette another chance before I decide if it needs to go or if it can stay. So make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, whatever you can afford. And if you don't like my videos, I'll see you on the way out. Bye. All right. So I don't have a ton of ideas of what to do with this palette. Part of me wanted to play with Aries, which is this like duochrome blue-red color. But then part of me wanted to play with Social because I wanted to play with this color right here, which is Lanny. And I, I'm just not sure which one to use, to be quite, to be quite frank. So I think we're going to just dive in. I think I'm going to start with Lanny, which, let me get a brush. I think I'm going to start with Lanny, which is this purple, like, plum shade. And we're just going to start there. Definitely a pigmented formula. I did forget how like pigmented this starts off as. So it's definitely laying out like very pigmented, but it's not, it is blending out. So it's not just like going down and sticking. It is blending. So it's not, it's not, too crazy and that's what i like about lunar beauty's formula i enjoy their colors and their blendability and how well they just work like i really enjoy the formula at least i think that's what formula they used because i i own some laura lee palettes and I feel like they used Manny's formula, eyeshadow formula for this, because it doesn't feel like Laura's. All right. I think I got what I wanted down. And then I think we're gonna go in with what's going on down here. I think we're gonna do that one. And we're just going to blend that in. We're just going to take a big fluffy brush and we're going to blend that out a little bit. Just diffuse it a little because it is, like I said, very pigmented, very like off the bat, like very pigmented. 
I just need to diffuse that a little bit. There we go. That is what I am looking for. We're just gonna clean that corner up a little bit. And then just go back and just make sure that purple is still showing through. Just cleaning up a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna put Build that up a little more. Man, I am. So maybe I went with in with a little too much to begin with, but I think it's cleaned up well enough. And I think, I think I'm gonna take this brush. And I'm gonna go into break time, which is right here. Oh, and I used what's going on right here. So we're gonna take break time. I'm just gonna pat a little, little bit of that into the corner right here. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back into the Lanny shade and just interesting, interesting. Maybe it's the colors I used, but it's starting to look a little muddy. It could possibly be the colors I used that is making this look a little muddy. Like I can't, I'm having a hard time differentiating that purple brown from the regular brown like it's very mixed together kind of deal <clears throat> interesting interesting okay uh, then I'm going to take another fluffy brush I'm gonna go into cloudy right here and I'm gonna try and just blend out that top there. Just, you know, diffuse the top a little bit and give it a little bit of a blend. I think that definitely will do. Then I need to get a flat brush. I'm gonna get some glitter glue because we're gonna give this its best shot. And I think we're gonna go into that social shade right there. But let's get let's get the glue on first. I'm hoping that the social shade, which is like this plummy color, will kind of revive some of that purple in the corner. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna put it on the lid. It is a very pretty shimmer. Not as maybe impactful as like one of the duochromes in here, but it's still very pretty. So I will admit about this palette that there is a little bit of, like it's not as cohesive as I would want it to be. Like definitely I recognize that. Like it's not a very like, I feel like there's not enough like differentiation in mattes and like, I would have wanted, like, a different range of mattes in this collection. Because I think it could definitely benefit from some different mattes besides these browns. So I am going to take off the tape. And we're going to take a small brush. And we're going to go back into that Lanny shade. And we're just going to brush it on the under eye, a little bit more. Okay, I think we have a first eye. So I'm gonna try and do this part quick where I curl my eyelashes and just wiggle on some mascara. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta go look at myself in the mirror and I look wild. Just absolutely wild 
but this is how the first eye looks. It's not bad. It's very moody, very smoky. Don't hate it. Uh, but I am going to go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye. We'll see the eyes together and then we'll move on to the, we'll do the face. I'll check out in with y'all then. And then I'll check on with y'all later today. Be right back. All right, these are the two eyes. This is what they look like up close. They seem to be looking good. Not too much, not too, not any fading that I can see. Like nothing that really stands out. No creasing, but it has only been a few minutes. So, I'm going to put on the rest of my face, see if anything changes, and I'll be right back. So don't go away. All right. I'm back. The full face is on, and I don't hate it. I thought I was going to hate the eyeshadow look because I thought it wasn't going the way I wanted it to, and I was sitting there and I was like, ah, oh, this is going to look bad. I'm going to have to wash all this off and try again. Like, it's just not looking good, but it looks a lot better than I thought it would. So I am happy about that. I'm happy that this turned out better than expected, especially where I thought it was going. Um, but the makeup looks good. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. So no creasing so far, no fading that I can see off the top of my, uh, just looking in my mirror. Let me get a little bit of my hair out of my way. No, I don't see anything that would cause alarm at this moment. Uh, nothing that is pretty like prominent that it's fading. Uh, I am going to, I did forget to do this. I am going to put a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner. Uh, I am using Flexitarian from ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Shadow, one of my favorites. I have rebought this one so many times. We're just gonna put that in the corner. And just, just a little ding. Oh, I love, I love a good little like inner corner highlight. I hadn't been doing it for a while cause I kept forgetting, but I did it the other day and I was really just happy with it. And Honestly, my favorite, one of my favorite brushes to do this, because I'd been looking for a brush that was kind of a similar shape, because I have one from like when I first started makeup, and it's from Five and Below, and it's got this like point to it. This is this is the brush I'm using. It's from uh, Fantasy Cosmetica. It's their E01, and I love this point to do an inner corner highlight because I feel like you can get all the product on the tip, and just dot that in and it makes a beautiful little inner corner highlight just perfect so definitely recommend that uh, but this is how the makeup looks right now i am probably going to check it it is um about seven something let's see it is 7 30 right now i'm gonna probably check in about five o'clock this afternoon and then I might check in one more time at about whenever I get back from seeing my friend. I am seeing a friend tonight. We're going to go have dinner, enjoy the fact that we're about to go on a four day week, week day, uh, weekend because we have July 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th off. And we're just going to go enjoy that. And I'll probably give an update around that time too. So I will see y'all in a few hours to check in on this palette. Be right back. All right, so it's almost 10 o'clock. And let's look for the creasing. Huh, no creasing. It does look a little melted, but uh, that might also be because I've been wearing this since uh, seven something in the morning. And it is now 10 something, so Take that as you will, but I don't see any creasing. I don't see any fading. Like I said, it looks like crap, but 
think that's also because I wore it for 10 hours. Well, over 10 hours. Shoot. A lot. Longer than I expected. I mean, this lasted through sweat. Let me get a closer look in my mirror. Yeah. Lasted through sweat. Lots of sweat. We were sitting outside at dinner tonight. But I think it looks as good as it can look after hours and hours of wearing. So this this one I may need to keep for a little while longer. Maybe try it a few more times. See if I'm still in love with it like I was the first time. But thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.